At least 20 people are looking for a new home today after a fire ripped through a KCK apartment building. Lindsay Shively joins us live from 11th and Central where this fire happened. Uh, Lindsay, you've been on this story all morning long, and at one point it flared up again. That's right. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. First, I want to tell you that five people went to the hospital this morning because of this. At least two of them are still there. One of them in critical condition. Firefighters had to go in and get those two from this building. And we don't know what caused this yet because the back side of this, even though the front doesn't look too terribly damaged, the back side of this building has collapsed all three floors from the basement on. That's why you can see straight through those windows into the sky over there. So they're waiting for a structural engineer to get here before they send any investigators inside of this. This had people banging on their neighbor's doors at 1130 last night, making sure that everyone was awake. Again, fire crews had to go in and get the remaining two people in this building. We did talk to a lot of people who live here who do not have renter's insurance and lost all of their possessions. Well, I'm like, well, at least I got out alive because it got pretty bad up there. And I first at first didn't hear what he was saying and then I I understood I was like oh my gosh the apartment's on fire grab the kids we gotta go and I told my kids to get up and just grab the kids and get out you saw her grandchild that Anna was holding there. That's Sierra, 15 months old. And look at this. We wanted to show you uh, the smoke that happened again later this morning when this reignited and fire crews had to rush back here. Sirens blaring in front of this building to put this out just a few hours ago. It is not uh, rekindled since, and it is still in the same state again, waiting for a chance for a structural engineer to get here so investigators can get in and figure out what happened here that sent five people to the hospital this morning. For now, we're live in Kansas City, Kansas. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.